Technology, it's what the world runs on. One not so great example of this is the Samsung Galaxy J3, which I've been using for a good few years. So when I had the chance to upgrade it a few months ago, I was ecstatic, right? I was so glad that I wasn't stuck with four gigs of usable storage and the camera is so bad it makes Peter McKinnon want to throw himself off a bridge. And that phone is the Redmi Note 5. Now this sexy beast of a phone is every budget Android user's dream. Retailed at 150, I can safely say this phone's incredible for its price. First off, this phone looks amazing. It's thin, it's sleek, the bezels are just the right size to perfect the overall look. It sports a decent 12 megapixel rear cam and a 5 for the selfie. And it has a fingerprint sensor. Now granted this is probably nothing to you right but for me this is an absolute game changer. The phone in itself is great but the added novelty of fingerprints just to access it really tops it off. It's centered on the back perfect for natural finger placement as well as the power and volume buttons on the right. And to top it off it's got our all-time favorite the headphone jack. Now to get into the real fun stuff the flesh on the bones of the software right. Now the phone comes with an Android Oreo with me UI 10 but I've got a custom launcher so mine looks a little different. Anyways a decent 3 gigs of RAM allows you to do more stuff you would want to do on a phone perfectly fine, you know, split screen, playing games, you know. Now for the keyboard, I hate having any sort of autocorrect or typing help, so mine looks like this, and you can customise them to have different backgrounds, and of course it supports multiple languages. Now going a bit more in depth with the camera, it records in full HD in 60fps, which is perfect for YouTube videos, and it has a bunch of modes for pictures, you know. Now the battery life on this thing is a beast, by the way. Might take a while to charge, but what else could you expect from 4000 milliamps? Apps run smooth as hell too, and overall this is just a darn fine phone. The verdict? Get it. You won't be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching this video. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. No, no, it's it's not. It's this video is not sponsored.